Hello, good morning, good evening from wherever you're watching from. I don't know where you are. Here we are in Seattle, Washington. And uh, I, I'm Pastor Motiora with my wife here, my lovely wife, Pastor Caroline. We just want to invite you and just be here with you. What a joy, what a joy. The people that I'm about to introduce is none other. <laughs> hey, hey, oh my hey. goodness, this introduction, it just takes, it, it needs a lot of energy to uh, introduce these people. Yes. They are amazing, they are an amazing couple, Pastor Monene yes. and Pastor Sue. Thank you. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Nice to have you. Yes. Pastor yes. Monen and Pastor Sue are here yes. in yes. Seattle, all yes. the way from Kenya. Yes. What we have had a wonderful time together with them. Yes. And I believe in the next few minutes, maybe 15, 20 minutes, yes. we'll be here just to talk about a few things yes. that are challenges uh -huh. of parenting. Yes. And we thank God that they are here so that we can have this discussion. Yes. So, may you just say hello wow. <laughs> and say hello to people. Yes. Thank, yes. You. Thank you very much, Pastor Modiola. Amen. Together with your beloved wife, yes. Pastor yes. Carol. Amen. You are such a wonderful people. Amen. And you're so Amen. happy being together Amen. for such a time like this. Yes. I mean, when we met you, our hearts just fell in love with you guys. Yes. You're such welcoming, you're such a lovely. Amen. The work you are doing in Washington, Seattle, yes. Yes. and for the kingdom is such a Good work and a great work, yes. and congratulations. Oh, yeah, King yeah. in the fire burning. Yeah. And I've realized that oh, you guys have got a um, passion yes. for the young people, Amen. for the youth, for yes. the teenagers. Yes. And, and I'm sure this 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 um segment will be talking something yes. about the same. Amen. So we are Mr. Mm -hmm. and Mrs. Yes. Uh, Pastor Munene, uh, together with my lovely wife here. Yes. She's Amen. going to say hi. Yes. And of course, we are happy being here yes. to address some of the critical issues yes. that uh, uh, we are facing in our continent. Yes. And I'm sure the Lord is going to bless us. Amen. So to all our viewers, yes. you are most welcome. Yes. And we are happy that you are watching. Amen. Tell everybody about this. Yes. Nobody should miss this yeah. because it's going to be hot it's mm. going to be precise yeah. you are talking issues the way they are yeah. and that is going to be quite okay yeah. hallelujah yeah. Wow. you are terrible i'm Amen. pastor Simonene, mm. and i want to thank god for my husband pastor Munene, for mm. this opportunity yeah. and also for our host yes. uh, pastor Modiora, together Amen. with his wife pastor carol we are such a blessing to the body of christ Amen. and as pastor Munene has said we are, we are divinely connected yes. because we are generational pastors Amen. we really want to impact our generation mm. you know with what god has given us yes. because impartation is through words mm. and so we are very glad that we have a very you know important topic to discuss today yes. and i'm sure that uh, kindly share, yes. su subscribe, yeah. and make sure that someone is listening to this because they may get an answer yes. to something that we are looking for. Yes. And so we invite you to, to feel free mm. and welcome to this um, uh, discussion and we're going to have a good time in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 And my wife is here, of course, yes. my yes. lovely wife. I yes. think it's good to hear her voice. <laughs> <laughs> Very important. <laughs> Very important to hear her voice. We yes. have not had her speak, but now let her yes. take the stage. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Well, welcome everybody. Praise Jesus. I'm yes. Pastor yes. Carol, as yes. they have said, and yes. I love Jesus. I'm going to heaven. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. I'm yes. rushing. Yes. Glory, spirit, spirit. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. So yes. I'm just so happy, and I, I feel honored that to have this lovely, lovely people. Yes. I connected with them in the spirit when yes. they were still very far away in Kenya and for some. Even God brought them to our home, yes. in our home right now, yes. and uh, we are just so honored to have you, Pastor yes. Pastor Sue, and we love you, Thank yes. you. and I'm sure we'll have a great time. Amen. Thank you so much. We want to just get into business here. Yes. Now, one of the things that we are all aware of in the midst of COVID-19, yes. Corona has been something that has killed the whole world. Mm -hmm. I mean, America, we are feeling the effect, mm -hmm. and Kenya is also there, and we yes. are Kenyans too. Yes. And we, we are seeing a lot of aftermath issues mm -hmm. that are happening, mm -hmm. that are costing a lot of other issues. Yes. One of the things that we would love to focus on today yes. is what is this issue about T 
teenage pregnancy that is taking place in Kenya. Yes. Because they, they, we, we are looking at 15 to 20 percent of teenagers yes. who are getting pregnant at this yes. time mm-hmm. of Corona. Mm-hmm. So we, we just want to know why is this happening? Mm-hmm. Or what is your take, Pastor Sue, mm-hmm. Pastor Monene? Yes. What is your take? And what is going on? Mm, if we yes. can start with Pastor Sue, just give yeah, us a, yes. a hint. Uh, uh, what is going on in I, our current? I want to say yeah. that uh, it's it's actually sad mm-hmm. to every parent mm-hmm. hearing that your daughter, who is a teenage yes. or even who is in secondary or in college, mm-hmm. has actually gotten pregnant. You know, at the time that you never expected them to be. Yeah. And I think most parents are actually in dilemma. Mm-hmm. They do not know how even to talk to this girl mm-hmm. because you see, uh, most of the times, what happens anytime there's pregnancy, the mm-hmm. person who suffers most mm-hmm. is the girl. Yeah. You know, we might not really follow the boys mm-hmm. who are the owners of these pregnancies. Mm-hmm. And I want to say that um, to the parents, I know it's shocking. Mm-hmm. It's also shocking to every one of us. Yes. Much more as we we we, we knew something may happen uh maybe pregnancies must will happen yes. we never knew that it's gonna be at this magnitude mm-hmm. and so for me as a parent mm-hmm. as, a, as, a, as a as a coach as a mentor mm-hmm. i feel it mm-hmm. because we are all affected yes. by this pandemic yes. mm-hmm. you know pandemic of pregnancy yeah. pandemic of you know uh, sexually transmitted diseases mm-hmm. because it is a sign that our children mm. are having sex mm. that is unprotected, yes. you know, and uh, it tells you mm. that now our children now, now are also practicing sex, mm. even as the parents are also doing it, yes. and they are doing it at the wrong time, mm. because there is time for that. Yes. And so this is a very important topic, mm. and I believe that God is going to give us wisdom, yes. He's going to give us understanding to be able to tackle these issues mm. with a lot of uh, words that will be able to heal even our teenage yes. girls who are pregnant, yes. even the boys who are also culprits of the same, mm. and the parents who have actually been, you know, into this situation. Yes. I know it is not easy for you, but we have come to bring hope, yes. that there is hope. Yes. And uh, as long as we continue discussing this matter, I'm mm. sure mm. we're going to come up with solutions yes. that will make us know how do we handle this girls, yes. how do we keep them to still meet their dreams and aspirations mm-hmm. even in life. Mm-hmm. And so this is a very important topic, it's actually in my heart yes. and I feel that we have what it takes mm-hmm. because it is we, the leaders, yes. you know, in the clergy, mm-hmm. in the, in, in, that we are going to give direction yes. to actually the parents because mm-hmm. they always come for answers yes. and solutions when they, are, when they have all these crises. Mm-hmm. And so this is a very important topic and I believe that uh, we're going to have uh, time to share and even look at the things that we need to adjust and change yes. so that we can bring a solution mm-hmm. even to our generation in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 It is amazing because mm-hmm. young people are in our heart. Yes. We care so much about young people. Yes. And I okay. believe oh, yes. they are the blessing that God has given us. Yes. Mm-hmm. Children are a blessing yes. from the Lord. Yes. And it is amazing that we are going through such a hard time oh, yes. when we are talking of all these things and mm-hmm. challenges Mm. that are facing our young people. Mm. So my, my question will be, what as parents, what do we do? Mm. What do parents do? Mm. Particularly in a culture like Kenya, mm. a Kenyan culture, where talking about sex, mm. a parents taboo. talking mm. about sex is a taboo. Yes. How do parents break this kind of conversation? Mm. What do you think, Pastor Monene? Mm. Oh, what, what do parents do yes. in such a time like this? Number one, mm. uh, Pastor, thank you very much for that um, good question. Yes. I would want, number one, to really say that um, it's quite sad. Mm-hmm. It's very discouraging. Yes. Uh, just like my beloved wife has said, mm-hmm. to raise up your child. Yes. To have a lot of hope in a certain in your child. Yes. But at a certain point, mm-hmm. um, something comes in mm-hmm. and you can tell that the direction that your daughter has taken. Yes. It is not a good direction. Yes. As a parent, you feel you are discouraged. Mm. You feel like your efforts um, and labor has gone to waste. Yes. Yes. But I want to say mm. that all is not lost. Amen. That's good. That's good. That's good. Yeah. Amen. Regardless Amen. of what has happened, yes. I want to speak about the parent yes. who is feeling like they would want to send that teenager away. Yes. Oh, yes. They would want to lock them in an auntie's home where they don't want to see them again. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
you know, yeah. you'll be doing now a second harm, a second mistake, yeah. mm -hmm. which yeah. is not good. Mm -hmm. Because already the first mistake has happened. Yes. Yes. So you can't do now the second uh, mistake again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so I'll begin by saying, mm -hmm. as a parent number one, mm -hmm. you need to accept yes. wow. that wow. you wow. are in that condition. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. if you don't accept mm -hmm. what I said to me, mm -hmm. that you're going to live in denial. Mm -hmm. Yes. And denying that something has not happened or it's not there, that's mm. something that it's not there. Yeah, yeah. So you will be hunted by that guilty consciousness. Mm. Yes. And the help that you're supposed to give to your daughter, mm. you're not able to give to that uh, person. person you are yeah. right. So as the mother, as the father, the first thing is accept it has happened. Mm. Then number two. Seek for counsel. Seek for, counsel. Seek for um, advice. Mm -hmm. Yes. How are you supposed to? Um, what are you supposed to do mm -hmm. to help this child? Yes. Because yes. you cannot now say, I don't want to see Jane. Yes. Mm -hmm. I don't want to see Agnes. Mm -hmm. I don't want to see Susan. Yes. Mm -hmm. Simply because now they are pregnant mm -hmm. or she's pregnant. Yes. yes. She will no longer be called my daughter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You are always a father. Mm. Yes. And just because a mistake happened, mm. it does not mean that you are a careless father mm. or you are a careless mother. Yes. No, 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 no. Yes. You are not. Mm. So, I would say, accept. Yes. Number two, mm. seek for guidance. Yes. Seek for counsel. Because mm. yeah. where there is counsel, mm. then there is direction. 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 Yeah. The Bible says, my people are destroyed mm. for lack of knowledge. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. so this is not the time now to lock those teenagers out. Mm -hmm. This is the time now to take now kiboko mm -hmm. and you start now, you know, whipping, uh, whipping them and that, uh, exercising your authority. Mm -hmm. No, mm -hmm. as much as that one is important, mm -hmm. it is it is very very critical. Mm -hmm. First of all, you do things in the right way. Yes. And I think you can begin now by asking yourself, where did I go wrong? Mm -hmm. How do I rectify this? Mm -hmm. In one way or the other, or the other, you will be able to get yes. a way out yes. in this matter. Wow. Yeah. Yes. I also want to add something yes. as far as yes. uh, Pastor Mlendo was sharing. Mm. I want to say that uh, it will be very sad yes. and very devastating mm. if parents began to blame each other. Mm. And that's one of the things we must remove. Mm. Blame game must get out. Mm -hmm. We should not blame the parents. Yes. We should also not blame our children. Mm -hmm. Now, damage has already happened. Mm -hmm. yes. So what we need to think is, what is the way forward? Mm -hmm. Because when we put the blame mm -hmm. on the chief, mm -hmm. we put the blame on the leaders of the community, mm -hmm. we put the blame on the mothers. Mm -hmm. You know, that father is asking the, 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 the wife, mm -hmm. when your daughter was getting pregnant, where were wow. you? Uh -huh. Because I'm sure the mother was not there. Yeah. You see that? <laughs> the you are not there. Actually, it's true. She was not there. Yes. Yes. You yeah. see, you, yeah. there's no way your daughter can, can, can have sex in the presence of the mother. No, no. And so we need to accept that, you know, your husband could be saying this mm -hmm. yes. out of frustration because he doesn't know he doesn't what, know he, what he going to say, mm -hmm. what he's going to tell you. Mm -hmm. Even he's also in a state of confusion. Mm -hmm. And so we need to sober up. Yes. And now realize, as Pastor has said, mm -hmm. we stop denying mm -hmm. that surely a mistake has already happened mm -hmm. so what we need to do is now to look for a solution mm -hmm. and the solution is not beating your daughter mm -hmm. because if, no matter how much you beat your daughter mm -hmm. that pregnancy will not come out yes you see uh -huh. yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly. that baby exactly. must be born mm -hmm. because when we start beating them mm -hmm. harassing them mm -hmm. emotionally mm -hmm. because one thing we need to understand as parents mm -hmm. mm -hmm. is that also these girls mm -hmm. are emotionally tortured oh yeah yeah, yeah. when they when if they knew if, if every girl knew mm -hmm. that the act I'm about to indulge mm -hmm. in will cut short my academy, mm -hmm. will cut short, you know, the dreams and aspirations yes, I have, yes. I'm telling you the truth, mm -hmm. these girls who do not have had no, no. sex yeah, or marriage. Yeah. And so we and need also to understand mm -hmm. it was just, uh, you know, what teenage the hormones, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, mm -hmm. you, you feel you are warm, you feel you are beautiful, you mm -hmm. feel all these things. I mean, the, because of curiosity, mm -hmm. curiosity mm -hmm. that killed the cat. <laughs> Life has not killed the cat. Yes. It has actually, it has actually messed our girls. Yes. And so, my prayer and my mm -hmm. my direction in this matter is: mm -hmm. let us stop the blame game. Yes. Don't blame your wife. Mm -hmm. Don't blame your 
your, your elder daughter. Mm -hmm. Don't blame your elder son mm -hmm. because we all yes. have learned yes. it's a mistake that we have done mm -hmm. and we need to rectify it yes. by making sure we get hold of this girl, mm -hmm. get someone who can counsel them, yes. redirect them, prepare them to be mothers mm -hmm. because if we don't do this, we are going to find a very high rate mm -hmm. of suicidal people committing suicide. Exactly. These girls now committing suicide yes. because yes. as Pastor Munene has said, you are saying you don't want to see her. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So every time your daughter comes in, mm -hmm. she feels unloved, mm -hmm. she feels rejected, mm -hmm. she's already stigmatized, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. She's also not happy that, you know, her shape is gonna be, mm -hmm. you know, destroyed, okay. affected. Yes. And so parents, we need to know, mm -hmm. let us not handle our children like, you know, like, like, like objects. Mm -hmm. Let's handle them as human beings mm -hmm. and know that for sure they have done a mistake. Mm -hmm. But what is the way forward? Mm -hmm. wow. We've got not to blame each other. Mm -hmm. We accept what has happened. Mm -hmm. We look for counsel. Mm -hmm. And especially this is a time to look for your pastor. Mm -hmm. Oh yes. It's a time to look for your leaders. Mm -hmm. And especially spiritual leaders. Mm -hmm. Counsel us now. Mm -hmm. We have a lot to do. Mm -hmm. Let's look for them, credible people, mm -hmm. whom we can take to our daughters and let them be counseled. Mm -hmm. Let them be directed mm -hmm. so that they can accept. And after these nine months is over, yeah. we take, after they have respect their children, mm -hmm. we take them back to school. Mm -hmm. You see that? Yeah. So yeah. we must get yeah. a way out in this. Mm -hmm. But if yeah. we keep blaming the government, mm -hmm. we are blaming the chiefs, mm -hmm. we are blaming the, the mother, we are blaming the father, mm -hmm. we are blaming the elder sisters, we are blaming the house elf. Mm -hmm. I tell you the truth, we are not coming up with a solution. Mm -hmm. So the way forward is, let us look for the way and for the, for a solution to this problem and make sure that it comes out yeah. from the parents. Wow. Yes, wow. because we have to direct our children. That yeah. is so rich. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> that is so rich. Yes. I, I believe you're getting something from this yes. because mm -hmm. uh, we are coming at this from a very positive mm -hmm. place. Yes. And I love the issue that we are not blaming. Mm -hmm. yeah, we are blaming the blaming game mm -hmm. where fathers are blaming mothers, 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 mothers are blaming daughters, mothers. daughters are blaming mothers, mm -hmm. and all that kind of thing. Why, what do you have to say? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I don't know, I'm like, okay, the session is done, I'm saying that this is good, it's rich. Yeah, I think we are like, okay, all this is good, let's just chew on that and continue, because it's beautiful, thank yeah. you so much for that beautiful insight, it's powerful, mm -hmm. yes. and it's good that we are tackling this, mm -hmm. especially in, as right now, we, I know we have the corona pandemic, but we also have the uh, teenage pregnancies pandemic, especially where we come from. I think I was reading somewhere, is it like 3 million teenagers? Yes. 3 million. 3.8 Four pregnancies, teenage pregnancies in a mm -hmm. period of a very short time. Mm -hmm. So I think what I would ask, I'd like us to discuss is how did this happen? What mm -hmm. led to this? What's the problem yeah. that led to this? Because we have had all this, we have been mm -hmm. teenagers ourselves, mm -hmm. and I know people are getting pregnant and all that, but it was not like a pandemic, it's just something that hit almost every teenager. What, what led to this? What mm -hmm. happened? Mm -hmm. Is it because people are in, in, uh, at home, they're not in school? Mm -hmm. I'm thinking maybe the teenagers are yeah. at home. Mm -hmm. They don't have much to do, oh, don't. and uh, uh, maybe they go to girl school and they are boys school, but now they're in the village mm -hmm. or neighborhood alone, and there's mm -hmm. nothing much that's happening. Mm -hmm. So we are bored. Let's just go and visit, and in the process of visiting, so that's one thing that they are not in school. Mm -hmm. They are bored. They don't have much to do. So yes. maybe that's one thing. Mm -hmm. The other thing, uh, what I would think is, uh, as somebody was saying, is we are in the house. It's Corona pandemic. People are in the house. They are locked down. They see quarantine and lockdown. Mm -hmm. So people are in the house, the father is in the house, the mother is in the house, they don't mm -hmm. have a job, whatever they were going out, they at least to have outside time, they don't have that anymore. On top of that, maybe they have lost their job. Mm -hmm. So they're in the house, they're frustrated. They are yes. frustrated. Yeah. So when they are frustrated, especially mm -hmm. maybe the father is frustrated, I'll use the father here, he's including the mother, but let's talk of the father because we are talking of the father figure. Mm -hmm. He's frustrated and so he's taking the frustration on this girl. Yes. And so the girl that was feeling loved before, she does not have that anymore. Mm -hmm. And so she goes to look for this love, the mm -hmm. father figure somewhere. Mm -hmm. And the father figure that she's looking for maybe mm -hmm. takes advantage of her. Yes. And yes. in the process she gets uh, pregnant mm -hmm. uh, because there is so much chaos in the house. Yes. yes. Which, you know, it's like a ripple effect. Mm -hmm. This happened and then this happens and led to this. Yes. So she feels frustrated, she goes out to look for some better, uh, maybe greener pastures. Mm -hmm. And the person that she's looking, the love that she's looking, mm -hmm. it's misguided. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. So yeah. in the process she gets pregnant. Mm -hmm. So that's another problem. Mm -hmm. uh, we have many problems. I don't know whether you have any more problems wow. you can come with. Yes, yes, that's very true. So I would mm -hmm. like us to go to the problems. Mm -hmm. What the problems are? 
Mm. What led to this, and mm. then you can go to the solution. Mm -hmm. I know we have struggled some of the solutions, yeah. we're not blaming each other and all that, but let's first know where did this come from? Mm -hmm. How can we prevent it? Mm -hmm. What are the solutions? Mm -hmm. Because there are, there are three categories. The problem which is happening right now, mm -hmm. then the next category would be uh, the, so, the solution to the already pregnant girls oh, yes. and the families because it's not just a girl, it involves the whole family, the father, the mother. Mm. And the other, so, the other, the part three is how do we prevent the people who are not there because there are some teenagers who are not there but they are leading the whole thing, they are leading the same direction. Oh, yes. How do we prevent it? Wonderful. I wow. think I want to say something here mm -hmm. at that point. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, just because you are quiet about something, mm -hmm. it does not mean that it does not exist or it's not there. Yeah, that's wow. good. And I think uh, we have a challenge at that particular uh, uh, that, that direction. Yeah. You find that, uh, especially, um, you know, as Africans, mm -hmm. there are things that we don't want to freely mm -hmm. talk with our children. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. We feel like they are taboo. Mm -hmm. Uh, we should not go that direction, mm -hmm. but just because you are not talking about something, yeah. it does not mean it is not there. Wow. Right now, we are faced with a crisis, from COVID crisis, economic meltdown crisis, yeah. mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. now a uh, teenage uh, crisis, a uh, pregnancy crisis. Yes. But I'm just thinking. For instance, mm -hmm. if maybe we were thinking about now that it has happened, mm -hmm. going forward, mm -hmm. is it possible we think on how can we make sure that we we we, we talk more to our our our, our teenagers, yes. our children mm -hmm. on these matters? Mm -hmm. Because what we have done most of the time, yes. we have left the internet mm -hmm. to teach them. Yes. Yes. And now see mm -hmm. what they are learning. Mm -hmm. And this is a result of now what they watch and what they see. Mm -hmm. Because if you are listening to the wrong things, yes. if you are watching the wrong things, yes. mm -hmm. it will be manifested in your actions. Action. Yeah. Very true. Yeah. You know, yes. mm -hmm. the Bible says mm -hmm. that out of the abundance of the heart, the, of the, heart, mm -hmm. the mouth speaks. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Matthew 12, 35. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, Pastor, what we are seeing right now. Mm -hmm. It is the manifestation mm -hmm. of what they have been listening mm -hmm. and what they have been watching. Yeah. That's what we can see. Mm -hmm. Yes. Because if somebody has been watching things that are building them, mm -hmm. you know, into the right direction in life, mm -hmm. then some of these things will not have happened. Yes. 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 And so, just like a Pastor Carl has said, mm -hmm. Uh, we need to make sure here we break the car. Yes. Because mm -hmm. these things have happened so much, especially in these three, four months, yes. mm -hmm. when the children are so much at, at home. home. Mm -hmm. So it tells you, number one, mm -hmm. they are idle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We think that they are in books, they are not in books. They are not in books. We think that they are busy or whatever, mm -hmm. but they are not doing anything that we are thinking mm -hmm. about. Yes. So, it is important. We as parents, we ask ourselves, what can we do mm -hmm. to make sure that our teenagers mm -hmm. are exposed to knowledge yes. that can help them yes. say no yes. to sex before marriage? To sex before marriage. Mm -hmm. Because this is not happen by osmosis. Yes, <laughs> yes. They never happened that we only at one night and then somebody said yes. yes. Mm -hmm. There was, you know, one day, Yes. Another day, you know, and of course now with this issue of uh, we are not very sure when the schools are open, mm -hmm. when people are going back to school. Yes. Mala, it is in June, mm -hmm. it is in August, yes. it is in December, mm -hmm. now it is 2021. Mm -hmm. yes. That's what we are hearing. Yes. We don't know whether come December, again things are going to change. Mm -hmm. Then we are told no, it will not happen in 2021, January. Mm -hmm. So that kind of uh, I think uncertainty, uh, uncertainty. Mm -hmm. you know, now school is no longer there so much. Mm -hmm. We need to for something to keep ourselves busy, mm -hmm. you know. Yes. So we must come up with the program yes. that are going to help our people. And I want to say mm -hmm. that the pastors, we have a lot of work here to do. Yes. We must deliberately come up with a program, mm -hmm. every man of God, yes. and parents to assist us to do that, mm -hmm. to make sure mm -hmm. we put our teenagers, our youth, 
the programs that are godly, the programs that are focusing them in the right way. Mm. Because somebody can have biology, Mm. but biology will not stop you from messing up. Somebody can pass in chemistry, Mm. but that will not stop you from impregnating somebody somewhere. Mm. But also, I want to say something very, very important. Mm. I, as a young man, or as a married man, Mm. this one thing that I want to say very, very important. Mm. As I go out to to, 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 to impregnate somebody, yes. a teenager somewhere, a mm. married maybe, mm. or maybe I'm a teenager, yeah. you know, mm. there's one thing that I should ask myself, mm. what type of sins a man saw yeah. for the future? Mm. Because the Bible says, whatever a man saw, mm. yeah, say, shall he reap? Yes. So the time I take somebody's daughter, Mm. And I do such kind of a thing unto them. Yes. Pastor Monene, mm. you are sowing a seed. Yes. And the seed I am sowing, yes. it will go to my third and fourth generation. Oh, yes. So when I'm thinking that I'm hurting this family mm. and I'm hurting this person, mm. in the real sense, I'm hurting myself, mm. my children, and the cho- and their children. Oh, yes. yes. So, one should be able to know. You may not be a girl. So, you may be say, ah, for me, I think I'm safe because mm-hmm. I'm a boy. Yes. You are not the safe. Mm-hmm. Just because you are a boy and you can't get pregnant yes. and you mess up with other people, mm-hmm. you are not the safe. Mm-hmm. Whatever somebody sows, he shall reap one day. Mm-hmm. So, I want you to, to say very clearly mm-hmm. it is important you to everybody to check. Yes on your character, mm. to check on your behavior, mm. so that we can be able to deal with this thing. Wow, yeah. I'm also wow. wonderful. That's a very insightful you know, feedback. Mm. I would also want to say that um, this was an eye-opener, mm. that we do not have teachings at home. Yeah. Parents don't have you know, altars. Mm. You know, parents don't have time yeah. to actually have um, a way you know, things that you need to teach your children. Mm-hmm. It shows there's also a breakdown of communication between husbands and wives. Because when our children came, if we sat down with Pastor Nen and said, now we have our teenagers, they are here, and I think we need to talk to them about sexuality, we need to teach them about, you know, how to keep it. Because most of these pregnancies, you'll be surprised, is among brothers and sisters. Because remember, there was a lockdown. So most families were actually at home. So this could be either between a father and a daughter, a brother and a sister, oh. a cousin and a cousin, oh. you're getting that. A nephew, so, a nephew just yeah. family members. Yeah, yeah. relatives. Know? Yeah, relatives yeah. so much because we kept indoors. Mm-hmm. And remember, there was curfew. So if you're found outside, it's another thing. So these things were happening during the day. Within the, the locality. Yeah, within the we need village. to be very real. You know, just before we did where you are. So, mm-hmm. we, this is a time of testing. My dear one, if we deny the challenge that we have and fail to forgive each other, because mm. I'll discover my husband impregnated my girl. So will I remain bitter and kill my husband for that? No. I'll, 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 I'll get to know that it is my son who impregnated the sister. So this is going to bring a lot of, if we are not very careful, the enemy can use this to bring separation, divorce, mm. fights that will never come to an end. Yeah. But we need now to come out as parents. And Pastor said a very important statement. Being silent about a matter does not mean it does not exist. Mm-hmm. We have been silent about you know, teaching our children mm-hmm. about sexual Sexuality. purity. Mm-hmm. Basing our teaching on the word of God. Why? We the parents do not yeah. value the word. Mm-hmm. And the Bible says very categorical in the book of Proverbs 13, 13, mm-hmm. that he Mm-hmm. Who despises the word, the word of God yeah. will be destroyed. Be destroyed. Mm-hmm. So we despise the word. Mm-hmm. We, had, we, had, we despise the counsel. Yeah. The book of Deuteronomy, you know, verse 9, talks about parents, mm-hmm. you know, sitting down with their children and teaching them mm-hmm. the word of God. The Bible yeah. tells them, write them like breast plates. Mm-hmm. Write them on their forehead. Yeah. We don't do that. Mm-hmm. So the word of, and, and the teachings must actually begin with the parents. Mm-hmm. And so we need to come out from this cocoon of thinking that we are we have handed our children to the teachers. Now the teachers were normal. And I tell you the truth, Pastor, this is a true sign to show the parents how they need to respect the teachers. 
We did oh, know. Yes. We did oh, know yes. that, 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 that when oh. our children are in school yes. with our teachers, mm -hmm. they prevent them from teenage pregnancies. Yes. Because all this happened when, when, the, when the teachers were not there. When the children were at home wow. with the parents. Yes. With the parents. Yes. Not you with know. the teachers. Yes. <laughs> you know. You are getting the yeah, direction. The and then when we the handle teachers, teachers, you know, mm -hmm. with a lot of negative attitude, uh -huh. we go we make noise for them. Uh -huh. We do know, uh -huh. you know, somebody said the value of something is never known and until it is, is wrong. Now we can see the value of teachers. Yes. That these three months, if our children were in school, what we are talking about right now mm -hmm. probably may not be um, um, that, that massive, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. But because you know, the team we have, we handed our children to the teachers mm -hmm. to teach them about even their body changes. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm just wondering, Pastor, mm -hmm. you know, if we knew what we know today. Mm -hmm. And we sit down with our daughters before they become even they begin their periods. We tell them that their body changes. Mm -hmm. That as you grow, you're gonna have this. Mm -hmm. And if you don't have, mm -hmm. look for someone. Look for your pastor. Mm -hmm. Look for a pastor's wife. Mm -hmm. Look for someone in the community who can be able to speak to your daughter. Mm -hmm. Because some of you may say, I may not be able to talk to my daughter. Mm -hmm. Then look for someone who can do that. Yes. But we see what pastor. Mm -hmm. We don't even want to pay for them. Mm -hmm. We don't want to, to cost. We don't want, don't want anything. Mm -hmm any cost mm -hmm. to our children mm -hmm. you know it's like our children are bringing up themselves mm -hmm. you know with the knowledge that they see from their peers yes. and so i want to say that uh, uh, one of the things now we have learned we've got to invest ourselves in the knowledge yes. knowledge that is based on the word of god mm -hmm. knowledge that is based on right morals yes. you know and character mm -hmm. so that now that which you know now we have received mm -hmm. we can now you know give it over to our children yes. but look at it we are the parents who are having extramarital affairs. I'm married to Pastor Munene, uh -huh. but my children know I have other men I sleep with. Uh -huh. my, ch my, my, my children know their father keeps beating me yeah. because there's a, some women uh -huh. who he brings in the house yeah. or he has them outside. Uh -huh. What are we communicating to them? Because uh -huh. what is their father doing with that woman? Uh -huh. See, they know they're having sex. Uh -huh. So then of the day, you find even we parents, we have lost moral, you know, authority mm -hmm. of our children because the Bible says mm -hmm. in the book of Second Corinthians, mm -hmm. five or six, Pastor, mm -hmm. that you cannot punish an act of disobedience if your obedience is, is not complete. Mm -hmm. So, if our obedience, you know, in our character, mm -hmm. in our action, mm -hmm. is not complete, mm -hmm. you can't tell that child don't take a cigarette, mm -hmm. don't have sex. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now. Your son or your daughter found you having sex with the house guard. Mm -hmm. You see now, mm -hmm. so much more mm -hmm. as we really want to punish these girls for what they have done. Mm -hmm. Where have you failed mm -hmm. as a parent? Mm -hmm. Where have we failed mm -hmm. as parents? Mm -hmm. So it's a it's a matter of actually it's a wake up call mm -hmm. on our moral, you know, character. Mm -hmm. It is true we came up from families that were poor. Mm -hmm. Let me say that mm -hmm. most of the African communities we came from families that were. But this part, there are things we never saw. Yeah. We grew up not seeing our mothers and our fathers having, mm -hmm. you know, sex. Mm -hmm. we, if even when there was something like that, it was seriously hidden. Mm -hmm. But today, you come drunk, you know, you are clothing yourself in front of your children. Mm -hmm. They run away, they are finding you naked. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of mess we are doing. Yeah. We didn't know that our children are keeping this thing in memory. memory. And you see now, when a child sees, it's something Pastor Monena keeps saying, that money can see, money can do. <laughs> you see that? So they saw it with us. Well, and so now they are practicing with us. Mm -hmm. And so they are practicing with, the, with their peers. Yeah, yeah. And so uh, I think it all rotates around the right knowledge. Yes. You know, and also, you know, not ignoring, you know, church, yes. not ignoring, you know, the teachings that we get from the churches. Mm -hmm. When you hear something, it is not meant for you just to benefit. Mm -hmm. Share it with your children. There are topics that you can hear, even on the TV. And yet, if my daughter listens to this, if my sons listen to this, it's going to give them direction. Mm -hmm. I think this is a time to tell us that we are deprived of the right knowledge as parents. Mm -hmm. And so the same thing that we are deprived of is the same thing that our children mm -hmm. do not have. Let me yes. say one thing, yes. uh, Pastor Carl, mm -hmm. uh, in one minute. Mm -hmm. Somebody said mm -hmm. that an idol mind mm -hmm. is devil's function. Yes. It's not the Bible. I hear somebody who said it that. Yeah. It's not in the Bible. <laughs> <laughs> Don't look that in the Bible. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. You know? Yes. And, uh, you know, idleness is something very bad. Mm -hmm. Already we can see it. 
what it has produced. So yes. Mm-hmm. Number two, she has finished by something very, very important mm-hmm. about the issue of teaching in the church. Yes. Teaching about faith, teaching about the word of God. Mm-hmm. Yes. The word of God says, train up a child mm-hmm. in the way he should go. Yes. And that and when, and when that child is old, mm-hmm. he will not depart yes. out of it. Mm-hmm. Yes. Now, mm-hmm. look at it. Schools were closed mm-hmm. and the churches were also closed. Wow. wow. <laughs> 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 the teaching institutions. The teaching institutions. Institution. The churches are closed. Yes. And the schools are closed. So the teaching mm-hmm. was now to the parents. Yes. You see? Yes. So yes. now the parents were left out to do the to teaching. Do their job. And they didn't yeah. do it. Wow. Oh my Maybe goodness. they tried, but you can tell. We are not having the results, mm-hmm. the desired results. Mm-hmm. I'm sure they did it. Yes. But they're not having the desired results. Mm-hmm. And that tells us that any parent who despises the man of God, mm-hmm. he is destroying the future of his own children. Mm-hmm. One of the things I feel sad about is when I see parents discussing about the pastor with their children openly, either how they don't like him or how they they, they don't like the church without knowing mm-hmm. you are planting a seed mm-hmm. into your children wow. and that seed it will come back unto you. So I want here to say, as parents, mm-hmm. respect the teachers, mm-hmm. respect the men of God, because if you don't talk well about that man of God, mm-hmm. they don't have authority over your son, mm-hmm. over your daughter. They will call that daughter, they will ah. You cannot kind of yeah. It will come back unto you. It may not be today, mm. but in, in some time wow. to come, it will catch up with you. Wow. So, even if you don't have a man of God, mm. keep quiet. Yeah. You have got options. Yeah. You can go to another church, but don't destroy where you are just because there are things that you don't love about. Mm. Mm-hmm. You see? Yeah. So, to me, I feel very strongly. But if probably maybe uh, uh, the men of God were able to come on board yes. and probably maybe interact with our teenagers and all that, probably something would have been done. Mm-hmm. But I think to some extent, we locked everybody out. We locked the teachers out. Yes. We locked the pastor out. Mm-hmm. So the, 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 the children were left with their uncles, aunties, cousins, mm-hmm. nephews, mm-hmm. relatives, and yes. friends. So what I'm hearing from all this, yeah. which is an amazing discussion, I mm. believe, I know we can go on and on, mm. but one of the things that I'm hearing here is the, the culture of honor. Wow. And there is, if honor is broken, if there is mm. honor broken anywhere, mm. there will see a breakdown of everything. Mm. From family, mm. it flows to the church, mm. it flows to our children. Mm. Yes. So it's, but it's, the foundation is family. Mm-hmm. So once family is not aware and mm-hmm. intact mm-hmm. and something is wrong in the family, mm-hmm. everything goes wrong. Mm-hmm. Yes. But I also see this mm-hmm. when you say about sex talk yes. in a family. Mm-hmm. And I came to my house and I say today we will talk about sex. Yes. <laughs> I can see my children hair growing like this, yes. even myself as a parent. Yes. Because us also as parents, yes. we did not get that opportunity with our, from our parents, yes. from a generational place. Yes. It's not sex, it's not something we used to talk about. Yes. Oh, yes. But I love that at the same time, mm-hmm. though we say sex is a taboo, we don't want to talk about it. Yes. Is it crazy that we are also doing things mm-hmm. that, are tra- that our children are learning about sex? From us, uh-huh. and I think as you said, we can talk about that one now in our in our second segment. Now yes. we have a break. <laughs> that that, that I think would be a good idea. Yes. 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 So it's I, very yeah. I, I, I also wanted mm-hmm. like to say something. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm seeing um, the solution is actually mm-hmm. with the teachers, yes, with the parents, yes, and with the clergy, with the church. Yes. Oh yeah. Because yes. now I'm seeing, um, you know, there's what the teacher can do. Mm-hmm. There is what the parents can do, mm. and there is what the church can do. Yes. So we need to come, the three of us, mm. you know, yes. and make sure that every person plays their role. Their role. Yeah. You know, so that mm. now this girl can grow, mm. you know, knowing it's true I messed 
when mm. I was at 16 years old, mm. but I have been given hope by mm. my dad, yes. I have been given hope by my teacher, and yes. I have also been given hope by my pastor yes. of the church. Yes. So yes. one of the things I'm seeing is um, we've got now to establish, mm. actually this must be an wake up call for every church. Yes. We must have teenage mm. teachings, education. you know, exactly. education. Majoring on their morals. How yes. do you control your sexual appetites? Yes. How do you control your sexual urges? Mm. What are the things you need to watch? Mm. What are the things you need to not to watch? Yes. And what are the advantages yes. and the disadvantages of all these things? Wow. So this is a very important topic mm. that we need to continue, you know, uh, you know, discussing mm. and teaching, as Pastor has said, about training. Yes. It's very amazing what mm. the Bible says. Yes. Because when the Bible talks about training, mm. it doesn't tell the teacher. Yes. That verse is not, it's that not Proverbs 22 verse 6 is it's not to the, the teacher, yeah, it's, it's for the, the parent. parent. And you yeah. see, mm. a parent cannot train yes. if you have also not been Be trained. trained. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so training must be passed over. Yeah. And that does not mean that you have to go to school. Mm. When we go to church, we are trained. Yes. When we meet go with the people mm -hmm. in meetings, we are trained. Yes. Even right now, yes. there's what I'm getting trained from you. Yes. You know, there's what yes. I'm also getting trained from exactly. pastor. So we must have an open mind mm. to actually embrace all these teachings mm. that can make our sons and our daughters mm. to become healthy, you know, morally, mm. spiritually, and also physically, yes. so that they can go holistically mm. as God intended them to be. Wow. So the challenge is we have despised the word. And because of despising the word, now the destruction has come. And so um, it tells us there's a lot that we need to do. Yes. Thank God there is hope because we are alive. Oh, yes. There is hope. Yes. There is hope. There is hope. Yes. That's the message hope. today. Yes. There, there is, is hope. hope. Mm -hmm. And uh, I believe this conversation can keep going, mm -hmm. but we'll have a part two, mm -hmm. yes. which will continue later. Yes. Yes. So just, just stay tuned and let us have more discussion on this. Yes. But our message after all this is Proverbs 13, 13. Yes. When the word of God is despised, yes. oh, yes. there will be destruction. Oh, yes. So I, I don't know if my wife can, if you have anything, or yes. any final thoughts. Mm -hmm. Anybody was the final thought before we close? That would yes, be Pastor very important God. for us to hear those final thoughts. Yeah, thank yes. you. Thank you so much. Yes. Um, yes. For insight again. Mm. And I will continue to, and that's a good thing about hope. It's mm. good even as, right now because we're talking of many big problems that is affecting about everybody now that we are there what happens. Mm. Yes. So the thing is there is hope. There is hope. And another thing that you're saying is uh, about the monkey see, monkey do. Mm -hmm. Something that we say, the things that we do, is they are mostly caught and not mm. taught. Mm -hmm. You can keep teaching and teaching, but if you're not doing, because mm -hmm. the children, they catch what we do, not mm -hmm. really what we say. Yes. Mm -hmm. So it's good to, to be rooted in the word. Yes. It's good to know what we are. And another thing, a very important thing that I emphasize is even as a spirit, we really need to be involved with the children, mm -hmm. how the children are doing, what are they doing, even when they're in their rooms, what are they watching. Wow. Just yeah. don't lock the kids somewhere and they keep watching because maybe mm -hmm. it's a, something very innocent and then uh, uh, maybe an advertisement or a commercial pops up and they go and see that commercial mm -hmm. and then by the time you know they are mm -hmm. watching some very bad things you don't mm -hmm. know what's up. so get involved in your children like wow. even from when they're young mm -hmm. because the bible says you instruct okay the bible says my children or the children uh, follow the instruct or heed the instructions of your father yes. so what instructions are you mm -hmm. giving them if you're not involved their life so yes. get involved in their life when they get to teenagers sometimes they want to put you at a number and still get involved they mm -hmm. might yes. call you nosy mm -hmm. but get involved wow <laughs> yeah you know what is in that phone <laughs> yes. they say love that one but know what is in that phone mm -hmm. know what know the password the computer. Mm -hmm. go to their rooms mm -hmm. know what is happening there yes. get involved it is your because house it is your house it is your house children <laughs> and it's your house your god home. even mandate mm -hmm. to raise these children mm -hmm. We are saying train the child in the way so that they should grow up. Mm -hmm. How can you train them if they don't, you don't know what's involved in their lives? Mm -hmm. Because that sometimes you are like, okay, they just want, and we are like, okay, maybe they are not doing anything wrong, they are not out there, but they in the room. What are they? Mm -hmm. What's happening there? Mm -hmm. Why are you locking yourself in the room? Mm -hmm. What is happening in that phone? Mm -hmm. Get involved even when they are younger. Mm -hmm. even so when they are teenagers, first of all, now you, you have that uh, relationship, they will be able to be open to you. Yes. And you will be able to know what is happening. Yes. Mm -hmm. And another thing, don't forget, there is hope. 
Even when you have done everything, sometimes you have done everything that we know how mm -hmm. and they, they still mess up or maybe there is some pregnancy that has come mm -hmm. because we are talking about pregnancy, there are other issues, there are drugs, alcohol issues and all that but right now we are seeing we are talking about pregnancies mm -hmm. so there is hope. There is hope. There is hope for you as a parent, there yes. is hope for you as a teenager. Amen. Hope is on the way. And and yes. yes. And you, as you wait for, as, as yeah. you wait, as yeah. you yeah. wait, yeah. Yeah. wait just to say wow. one more thing mm. that um, in spite of all that has happened, yeah. mm. the purpose of God. Yeah. Mm. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. I don't want any parent to think mm. that now mm. God is through, mm. or it no longer happen again mm. for your daughter mm. just because they are pregnant. Whatever God wanted to do, yes. God is faithful. Yes. Yes. God is committed. Yes. Number two, there is no time that the enemy, the devil, mm. has ever competed with God. Mm -hmm. There is no time in history mm. that the devil will do something so big that everybody will be talking about the devil mm. as if there is no God in heaven. Mm -hmm. I want to say, mm. whatever has happened, mm. there is a God in heaven. Amen. God has got the power. Yeah, God is able Amen. to change the, you know, the cycle and everything about your family. Yes. In the midst of that pregnancy, yes. unwanted pregnancy, yes. still God is able to change the times you, to work for your own good. Amen. Because God will never compete with the devil right, right. at yes. any time. Yes, the more the darkness mm. comes in, mm. the more the light shines. Right, right. Amen. So if there is darkness right now in your family, mm. in your children, mm. that tells you mm. the light of God yes. is about to shine. Amen. So don't give up on those children. Yes. Yes. The last thing I want to say, mm. plan on the way forward. Mm. You only do what you plan for. Mm -hmm. Plan for scheduled meetings. Mm -hmm. You know, counseling, mm -hmm. teachings. Mm -hmm. Don't just wait for them to come anyhow. Mm -hmm. They do not come. Mm -hmm. Plan that every Saturday, mm -hmm. 7 in the evening, yes. we are going to sit down to talk about yes. A, B, C, D. Yes. Because if you don't plan, mm -hmm. it will not be done. Wow. Very, very, very wow. important. Mm -hmm. I have done something that I do with my children. Mm -hmm. As young as they are. Mm -hmm. Every day, mm -hmm. we have got a plan how they stand it. The one the, 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 the the yes, yes. Every day. Mm -hmm. And after they listen, mm -hmm. everybody has to give me a summary. Mm -hmm. Not written summary. Mm -hmm. You listen, you see, you listen, yes. then you write, you it, write it down, write it. and then you send it to me, mm. what you have learned. Wow. And then whatever they learn, yes. I also listen to the same. Yes. But you don't fake me, yes. but you listen. <laughs> That's very true. So you're also doing the same. The Bible says, yes. bring up a child. Yes. So what am I going to do? Mm. I'm going to have a system. Yes. So we have agreed that the way you go to class from Monday to Friday, yes. the word of God is also the same. Yes. Mm -hmm. Every day before you go to bed, from this time to this time, reset, mm -hmm. after you reset, sit down, yeah. write the summary of mm -hmm. what you have reset, mm -hmm. then send it to me. Whether I am in Nairobi or in Mombasa, I read the summary. Wow. That is very wow. It's done daily. Set a system. Mm -hmm. You in have your family. intentionally to do, do that. Intentionally. Otherwise, if they do it in school, for them to pass and to do well, why not in, in the, the house? In the house. Yes. And in the kingdom wow. of God. Wow. wow. Thank you. That's you have a distinction. Thank you. That's, that's powerful. Wow. <laughs> yes. I think we, we will be winding up. So we'll, we'll give Pastor Sue. Yeah. Let's yeah. come yeah. yeah. to sleep. Amen. Amen. Parents who are really stressed. Yes. Probably you have not been able to sleep since you knew that your daughter is pregnant. Mm. And probably you have even known the person who has impregnated your daughter. Mm. Because as teenagers, they speak the truth. Yes. I want to speak to you and tell you that this is not the time to say I'll kill him. Uh -huh. This is not the time to say Ataniona. Mm -hmm. Because if we start becoming bitter, we are so bitter, we are, we wanna revenge, we wanna, you know, all these things who we'll give the devil a room. Yes. So I want to speak to every parent and tell them, mm -hmm. please accept mm -hmm. that mistake has happened. Yes. But as we are continuing to say, mm -hmm. there is hope. There is hope. And guess what? 
what you have been speaking greatness to this girl mm. you've got to continue speaking that mm. because these girls if they are not very careful they are going to go through rejection from mm. the parents yeah. rejection from the community mm. rejection from the from their peers uh -huh. we know now they are pregnant mm -hmm. there's a lot of stigma yeah. and so we need that kind of you know parents accepting because when you accept something yeah. you are able now to work out the answer out mm. and i want to say this be there for your son be wow. there for your yeah. daughter this is a time now for, for mothers and fathers mm. to join their hands together mm. and know what are the new tactics we yeah. need to know yeah. on how to bring up our children mm. in the right way yeah. and i want to say this it is a wake-up call yeah. that the reason why god gave us the bible mm. he knew all the instructions that we need for ourselves and our children yeah. and in this world yeah. please parents mm. don't despise the word mm. keep the word of god mm. in your heart Keep the word of God in your mouth. Keep the word of God yeah. in your mind. Mm -hmm. Allow the word of God to control your thinking. Yeah. And I want to speak to the parents who are yeah. bitter even with God. Mm -hmm. And you are saying, I've been praying for this girl. Yeah. I've been praying for my son. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you the truth. Mm -hmm. We can do, all, I know you have done all that. Do not feel like it is a waste. Yeah. Yeah. Those words that you spoke to your daughter, mm -hmm. those words that you spoke to, your, you know, to, to your son, mm -hmm. is a seed. And one day, mm -hmm. So you are passing through pain, mm -hmm. you will rejoice over that car. Mm -hmm. You will even rejoice over that grandchild. Yeah, wow. So please let us not think that abortion is the exit. Mm -hmm. Because it's now, not. most of the things that is going out to happen, mm -hmm. most people will think I'll take my daughter to a doctor. Mm -hmm. And I tell you the truth, if they are not very careful, we're going to have a lot of deaths mm -hmm. of our teenage, our teenage cows. Mm -hmm. Because they are seeing the parents have not accepted. Mm -hmm. My mother is telling me, no, I don't want shame. I'm a church elder, mm -hmm. I'm a pastor, why have you ashamed me? Mm -hmm. Let me tell you the truth, pregnancy has nothing like you are a church elder, you are a pastor. Mm -hmm. Let's accept the truth mm -hmm. and join our hands together as parents. Mm -hmm. Support these girls mm -hmm. to become what God intended them to be. Amen. The Bible says there is hope mm -hmm. for a living dog, the dog yeah. better a living dog no, than, than, than a dead, dead lion. lion. Mm -hmm. So better a living dog than a dead, dead lion. lion. So, your daughter is not even a dog. Mm -hmm. Your daughter is not even a lion. Yeah. She's a human being created in the image and in the likeness of God. Wow. Please don't reject those children. Don't reject your grandchildren. Mm -hmm. Begin to prepare yourself to become oh, a grandfather yeah. and to become a grandmother because this is the reality. Okay. Thank you. And that because uh, my daughter is pregnant, mm -hmm. It does not mean that I am not a good parent. No, 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 no. Because of now the society mentality, mentality mm -hmm. and bullying. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You see now, because my daughter is happy, mm -hmm. you start seeing me as if I am not a, a pastor. I'm not a pastor. Mm -hmm. I'm not yes. called. Yes. yes. You know, yes. I, I am not. Uh, you, you are better because yes. yours is okay. No, no. No. Stop that mentality. Yes. Yes. Just because your daughter is okay, yes. that's not mean that the devil does not know your address. Yes. Mm -hmm. You get my point. Yes. So it is important that we, we give each other support. Yes. Yes. And we don't uh, have that kind of mentality, stigma. Mm -hmm. You know, destroy mm -hmm. one another. Mm -hmm. Just because a certain family now is going through something. Yeah. You start now saying, you know, they are not good in parenting. Yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah. Let's give each other support. Mm -hmm. Let's stand by each other. Yes. We help them. And by doing that, yes. the Lord is going to bless us. Yes. Remember, mm -hmm. there is hope. There is hope. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory to God. We'll finish with the word of prayer. Father God, we thank you and we bless thank you. you. Thank we you, stretch Lord. our hands to Amen. that parent. Thank you, we Lord. stretch yes. our hands to pray you, for the peace yes. of God. Yes. According to Isaiah 26, yes. 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 the peace of God yes. for those who trust in you. Oh, yes. oh my God, we know these parents who are trusting in you. Yes. And I've seen teenagers giving birth. Oh, yes. They are pregnant teenagers. Oh, my God. They are going through drug abuse and all yes. kinds of evil. Mm -hmm. Father, we pray that you uphold them. Yes. Uphold Hold them with peace. Amen. Give them peace. Yes. Peace like a river. Great. We Lord. prophesy peace Amen. upon everybody. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. In the name of the Lord. Amen. We declare they are peaceful. Amen. Amen. Their homes will be filled with peace. Amen. Amen. Father God, you will set a standard. Amen. Amen. Above the flood that Amen. the enemy has brought. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Name yes. of you know, one says, when the enemy comes in like a flood, oh, yes. you will lift a standard. Oh, yes. We pray for a lifting of a standard. Amen. Even upon families. Amen. Amen. 
in the name of the Lord. Praise Lord. Make our families yes. strong again. Yes. Make our home strong again. Amen. Make the father strong again. Amen. And the mother strong again. Amen. And our youth and our children strong Hallelujah. again. Hallelujah. In the name of, of Jesus. Jesus. We Christ. declare upon this channel. Yes. In this stream we declare. Yes. There is Hope. Amen. There is hope. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 God bless you. Thank you so much. Yes. We'll see you later. Subscribe Amen. and God bless you. Yes. Thank you, Pastor. Yes. We bless God for you. Amen. Amen. God Amen. bless you. God bless you. Thank you so Amen. much. Amen. 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 Hallelujah.